fuck it, we're going to play it this morning. Since the rise of apocalyptic Judaism in the centuries before the Common Era, angelic beings have fired the imaginations of everyone from theologians to magical practitioners. From fiery, winged beings to wheels covered in eyes, quasi-divine celestial warriors, messengers from the great heavenly beyond, angels, their nature, ranks, role, and their final I'm sure destiny, some asshole was like, that's exactly what it was, speculation, Not sure. awe, and dread through their millennial-long The one that said the fiery, wheeled eye religions. thing, and the one that was like, Certain yep, that's what it was. Both of them the mentioned. The messenger Gabriel, the warrior Michael, or the healer Raphael. They are all ones and zeros. Kind of like Michael point, going out there, showing, doubt, telling you what had happened that one time in the battlefield. Is also Gabriel the going out there, doing the OP brief for it, Metatron. and then explaining the Utterly next stage of the OP brief. Origin, and then Mike the going out and coming back, right? And then Gabriel, you shut the hell up for a minute. Not how what happened profoundly esoteric forms of mysticism first appearing in the early centuries of the common era though what is the origin of this angel said to be so powerful as to be heralded as the lesser yahweh almost as a kind sure of esoteric guy has a name being that doesn't matter in this episode place. i want to turn to the origins of metatron in a text variously known as the sefer hechalot or the book of the palaces or more commonly known now as the third book of Enoch. Here we find one of the most complex I've been running over here. You don't need the other books of Enoch if you need you got the book of the mother. They're all convergent. They are the book of the brother. They are the book of the sister. They are the book of the uncle's mother's cousin, red-headed stepchild. Enoch transformed into a fiery, angelic being. This is a text so provocative, it even shows internal evidence of attempts to suppress magical angelology. Indeed, a text it might contain ideas that may very well have inspired much of the early Christian salvation theory and whose you don't mysticism want to go would go room. on to fuel it's the rise of the Kabbalah. It's all going to be based on the tablet anyways, magic, the case, the situation alchemy, of Kabbalah, concealed carry or abortion cult, make sure to subscribe reasons. and check out well, my arbitrarily most content out there today. Esotericism, including curated playlists. Also, if you want to support this work of providing accessible, scholarly, and free content on topics and esotericism, at what point in time do YouTube they pull the First free? Amendment? I if they're willing to argue that the Second Amendment, Patreon, then at what time the First Amendment? Donation, if these math the books super do not add up to the algebra correctly, to help then you would take out a squared city yeah, in the Middle East. In the description below and in the pinned comment. And I really appreciate your consideration of supporting the channel Mike and the project Gabriel, of making Esoteric widely available. But now, let's turn to the origins of the angel Metatron, the lesser Yahweh, and the fiery transformation of Enoch in the Sefer Hechalot, or the Book of the Palaces. I'm Dr. Justin Sledge, and welcome Justin. to Esoterica, where we explore the arcane in history, philosophy, and religion. So I brought it up because I want to talk about the First Amendment here, getting changed, about why you would change it. What is the point? Well, in church, if it's not an algebra about Tom, Luke, and Mary, you know, what, what Tom did, Luke doing backflips off of the boat, Judaism and Mary... Like all religions has undergone tectonic We're not even going to go down that road right the moment, but 3, years or so they became a voice, and it's a freedom of that voice to determine, One of the, most the liberty of that voice to determine what it is, an action. What's this mean? In the centuries just before the rise of and the what's this mean? era. The apocalyptic is a religious mode typically thought to originate in Judaism, but... In the Ryman Sphere Department, about Islam, Oppenheimer's facial reaction to talking to somebody about say, getting the demon core with a screwdriver. Cosmogony, events in the primordial past, what is called... Even if the Metatron was to get where to talk to you, you'd still see a blue flash. Language. Expressed anxiety about oppression and tribulation, eschatological upheavals, that is to say things like the judgment and eventual fate of the, the righteous and the wicked. Out of the middle of the blue, you, you walk up to somebody, if you keep getting in there with a screwdriver like that, you're going to be dead in a week. You look right back at him. Oh, whatever the hell you think, Metatron. You think you come in here? Characters like the Antichrist. 
The structure of the various heavens and hells, the hidden role of angels and demons and worldly affairs. When somebody's going to say something to the purpose or nature of God inside of there, it's like, let's go outside and talk about Shangri-La Backyard. Is it not the devil? I mean, it could be Shangri-La. And what gives the title to the whole genre, the idea that something is being revealed, an apocalypsis from the Greek meaning to reveal and to uncover all of this to a human agent, a kind of prophet, often through a angelic emissary. All to what, what, <coughs> well, what underwrites all this? Well, one, the, to make it, sense it of a world It seems to have worked. You made the notation, an the association, but three, it's a form of you said stupid shit, didn't you? That in spite of all appearances to the contrary, mm. Interesting. everything's going according to a divine plan. From the first light of the universe to the final fire of its conflagration and beyond, the God of Israel is in control, and in the end, the righteous of Israel will thrive, and the evil will be punished forever, and how do we know all this? Well, direct revelation from the realm of the divine itself. That's, that's how, apparently. This form of theology and its literature proved enormously popular. Dozens of texts in this genre survive, with one becoming sacred writ for the early Christians, the Apocalypse of John. In yeah, fact, usually the revelations in the seventh trumpet. John, it's all story in there. It's not just one of them. It's like quote in the most right guy for an eye Jewish statement. It's much more than that. Up, and, uh, the leaders will take a knee out there. Time. They're gonna have to, not because. However. I think that they're going to meet Metatron. I think that they keep doing this dumb shit and Powell's got the tools to fix it. As far as you all being those tools and he will let you be the meat, the, the meat grinder and it's going to break the meat grinder. The thing that you say is the problem. Hence the name of this form of mysticism and its accompanying literature. Merkava or chariot mysticism, although also known just as well as so, we'll put or anybody in the coin, of the really. It's a challenge coin, it's an LED now, print, it's a mind press. If it doesn't come out looking like this, then probably the words that come out of their mouth are just as bad as their breath. <laughs> that's about the end of it. They can't form it together, they can't get coins running, whether it be silver, sand dollars, or otherwise. And generally, when you do something like that, you get into this nature of a thing. Do I think that that because that they did that? No, it's Metatron talking to you. It's 42 Edness. It's one of those things. It doesn't need to be a spoken word. It can be an action, a freedom of speech or press or something under that nature. Hit the newspaper. Hey, the zombies are loose. Well, I, I, somebody didn't, Metatron didn't say it to him. My union boss didn't put it in my ear, so... I doubt there's there actually more zombies. Of one Zombie Enoch eaten. attested among the Dead Sea Scrolls than even parts of the Torah. That's kind of crazy. With relatively vast collections surviving in classical Ethiopic, Old Slavonic, Hebrew, and fragments and other languages, this literature is vast. The first book of Enoch itself is actually Very composed vast. of five distinctive texts woven into one significantly long text. See, I think said and this right represents there. more of a and field of Enochic discourse yeah. than a systematic Enochian form of Yang Judaism. Yang Though there are some standout elements, especially the 365-day solar Enochian calendar, which works, seems to have been preferred in the sectarian or Essene documents found in Qumran, well, which are weirdly written in a kind of that's code. That's very good paper. For this episode, linen, we're going really. to turn they our attention might even use to the loom. quasi-apocalyptic, quasi-Merkava text of the third book of Enoch, or the Sefer Hechelot, the book of the palaces. Third Enoch survives in a this set a Mason's of book about building the palace. The there might have been a, an addendum to that palace about operations, time, not just to build, but the purpose of the, the building, how the demons come in into Solomon's temple, how you bind them by virtue of just the gravity of that situation. Big ass, really nice stonework. I don't know where you come from in the middle of bumfuck Egypt over there, but that is not how it's done over here. So if you expect to roll into Rome, you're going to hear this voice fast and wide across the land. Now, if you can't pull that off, or if somebody thinks that you're a wrinkly, dink dumbass, farts back old muffin fart. At this point, however, the standard analysis argues for a mixed provenance, with older sections probably being produced in Roman Palestine, and then the later sections being produced Good. in a same context. I'll back ask what Derek Guy up in case you were concerned about where I was. Redaction of 
the Babylonian Talmud. So roughly the fifth or sixth. Oh, well, look at what he's doing. You'd say in but there he has a YouTube channel. He might he been to college. If anything, they probably want to go back in there because that's the zenith of that tech. It's a gravity for it. Ascotarica in college is church where they pay the collection plate with the highest return, and kids would like to go see it potentially for a class. You might make them take a differential in that class for. Uh, economics of the time for now, chemistry at the time. Well, here's going to be talking about the magic of ar archaean like technology and mysterious. actually what it is. Cellophane, instance, some old eschatology nature, the posts that tell time on thing that we could put in the city at the time for the priest the to complete their prayers. The password ascent system of the so-called Ophian heresy described by Origen. And the concept if you watch Warhammer these days, when the, her, the term Gaul, heresy comes up, it's some late if I just use like the, the Warhammer board for the new Paul, one that they got Saint today, the Heresy of Horus, about the old gates, it's a space marine, but they're using a classical build-in for the Imperium, the space marine's base. We've already conducted the heresy, but it's, it's at the tone today. Now, who's in the Dreadnought? You know, when you go pick in your team, there are differences between strategies about, well, the reality is we both could have had the same option of the person in the multi-world universe, but if that's the coastline up there, you will have limitations to that notation. And if they turn on you because you find out that when the word did come down that they weren't going to work from you, and you didn't accept it for exactly what it was other than the voice of gravity or God, now, what all this means is extremely difficult to say with any precision, but the Sefer Hechalot seems to stand at the crossroads of the Not very religious in that way. I would prefer to use the physics Judaism, because God's an irrational system. There is not anything here. There could be Don, the mechanic out there, the book of the altar of Snap-on, and it would go right to my mother. Did you just say a dirty joke about my mother? You might as well laugh, and I couldn't have done shit about it. That's how you know. be clear, but... Let's turn to the text to get at what's going on in this wonderful book. Third Enoch opens a bit in media res. Rabbi Ishmael, described as a high priest, the hero of the narrative, has already ascended through the first six heavenly palaces. Sometimes you get to Jesus. Kind of you know, sometimes you just got to tell him to get up early, get them worms, put it on a hook, and stick it in the river. The innermost seventh palace, the very divine abode. He's challenged here by fierce angelic guardians who have actually detected him approaching by oh, well. smell alone. It's also something the Messiah is said to be able to do, and smell people and judge them. Rabbi Ishmael implores well, God yeah, to actually like him. that SCP. Thereupon the oh, angel zero. Metatron appears from inside All the way out the to 05. Palace, or one of those other models. It makes a lot of sense. Play the game with me here a minute. Palace. It's 1001 zero, zero, one, or 0110. One, 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 That's four of them Rabbi right Ishmael's there, given the 05 council. When one of them occupy the a position in there, let's say 01, that's a situation just Earth and you paying attention to it. Are you paying attention and realize there's Earth out there? It's a combination of those things. Just Earth, you're on it. Could be anywhere near that situation of one of those standard models. Or you've been there before, as far as whether it's up or down. Now count it out. Basically, Durium, Tritium, Neo out there, of the revolution. Oh, that shit. The first revelation is perhaps the yeah. most shocking. The angel Metatron was originally the antediluvian sage Enoch, who was taken up by God before the destruction of the, the world. The fact that it took human form isn't necessarily the icon of sin. Into a it's the fact that it lived its entire being. life and died now, that way. Text, especially the second book of Enoch, concerning, him at best, somehow I've seen humanity by before. The divine, third Enoch explicitly and beautifully transcribed no, he's not out here he's giving advice angel. about the cultural oh, models of it he's not out there telling the preacher this is what they have the to do to glory, their judaism the practices the to do it you can choose to want to do that and that's more of a nature of that capacity back to the statement again i've seen humanity before there are people who do it well and there are people at the time when you can be as stiff or as hard as a granite obelisk build in the nature of what that was all of my limbs to burning fire out there patent function of private my body to blazing fire 
Dinoch no. and its transformation to Metatron is not only elevated to an angelic status, dropping the bomb on Iwo Jima, even indicates that he and a who was it? Divine vice regent known as Yahweh Hatan, the lesser Hattan or the Jefferson little Herder. Yahweh. Yeah. One of the most Kennedy shocking to... ideas. Fuck. Truman. In Jewish history. Truman out there. Suffice to say, or is it is a, a day that will live in infamy talking about Pearl, Pearl Harbor? Jewish lore. His name is clearly not a Very careful. Word, and there's no scholarly agreement as to trips and falls, what it even means. Quality, quantity, not supply, supply, supply. Manuscripts vary in their spelling of his name. The best current guesses, and their guesses, are from the Latin metator, originally a term from the military That's language of Latin, for an officer who goes before the army Gunny to prepare Z? camp, but by extension and metonymy, anyone who prepares He was in there, away. and he said word. Interestingly, though, and they this took a knee. Word I guess, I guess he was Heisenberg. Who knew in this whole time? Aramaic and Hebrew, making it a pretty good candidate. Another guess is some combination of the Greek words Tameta Maybe Lorenzo. Ronon, perhaps beyond the throne, or next to the divine throne, in reference to the throne of God. Well, let's assume we didn't have FMA. Somebody would have to come, come out with a first. That's how I roll. Never be forthcoming. Well, if the origins of even this angel's name are mysterious, then even more mm. so the metaphysical origins. I believe God will take care of it. I believe if you don't balance your fucking checkbook, you're gonna die. One likelihood that seems at least more than possible is that Metatron may have been an esoteric name for the angel Michael. In fact, both are referred to as the it's great militia leader. That became detached somehow no kidding. and then merged that with you actually angel, care about a function. Not just necessarily that people may live or die for your also, cause, Yahoo but your cause should be beneficial to the ground around you. So probably when you talk, you talk in a tone that would even be, if we have to take that machine gun, this is the reason why. Now, whether you, the Imperium pulls out of the, co the outer rim there and leaves the Grey Knights out there to go back to the Imperium, or whether he stays on the fucking front lines or not, has a lot to do with the voice and the freedom of what is speech. That got detached, fused with the angel that bears the divine name, hence the lesser Yahweh bit. And then that angel combination is then fused with Second Enoch and the glorification of Enoch the Antediluvian Sage to no. create this. There are people giving you math problems. Of the they might be act actual accounts of the day Enoch. with people's names Bowser, Belial, Raphael, Azazel, Sorry. Mike, somebody. But they might the even have special spin mass ratios in group theory or human behavioral psychology. That place right there is an EM field, electric ladder, hydron collider. You can invert from a lot of things. Different points in time, different moments that went to the correlated model of the cost. And it's like, well, the cost of these things correlate to what it was. And it says addendum in here. Nobody was real happy about that. Some merchant was leaning on He's uniquely able I wonder to why that come into that, Metatron. That separates this realm from the realm of the pure divinity. He's the heavenly high priest officiating in general. In the divine none of us were there. Tabernacle. We are born into the sin, Enoch, the sign of not knowing all the mathematics, of truly quantifying general relativity to the point of all the work and jewels down in that moment. With that said, kind of you don't need them all. The I can generalize it. The, the cost to them there. Uh, I don't know how many times you were breathing, the well, therefore I had to talk about the breath of the situation. You need to generalize it. And in that way, I'm the god playing the devil in the form of the Metatron out there, salty and sharks. And that's how you will use it in the future, in case you are concerned, if it comes up. And I'm not saying that it will, or you will have to use it, but be advised. Put that Uru tip in your pocket.